This is a major warning to all Bitcoin holders, whether you're brand new in crypto or you've been in years. Bitcoin has just flashed, just flashed a major buy signal, but it's come at the strangest time when the market is far overextended, the weekly RSI far overbought, the fear and greed, incredible amounts of greed. What is going on in the markets? Even when you look at the daily chart, there is divergence happening, bearish divergence. So what is going on with this major buy signal? In today's video, we're gonna dig in into the facts and the charts and what I'm about to show you is gonna surprise you. Welcome in everybody, welcome to a bonus video, an emergency video. I'm a man of my word. I said over a month ago when we had this capitulation circle happen, I said, look, Whenever this buy comes, I'm gonna do a bonus video. We projected for it to come right towards the end of November or the first week in December. Here we are in the first week of December, major buy alert. Here I am, I'm a man of my word. If you're new here, my name is Steve, founder and CEO of CryptoCruitUniversity.com. Welcome in. Great to see everybody here. Hope you're having a beautiful day. If you're new, go subscribe right now. This is gonna be, hands down, your new favorite channel where you come if you want more success in crypto. So, in today's video, I'm also gonna break down something that we've never explained before. I'm gonna share with you, if you wanna make money, if you wanna make money in the short term in Bitcoin, in the next one to three weeks, and you're looking to see what, what should I do right now in the next one to three weeks to make money in Bitcoin, I'm gonna share what I would do if I were in your shoes. Let's say you're in the medium term. You want to make money in crypto in the next one to three months. You're looking at that time frame. You've got a couple extra bucks and you're saying, hey, what can I do? What should I do right now to make some money? I'm going to share what I would do in your shoes. And then in the long term, you're in crypto in the next one to three years. You're, you're looking, hey, should I enter right now? and make money in the next one to three years, or should I wait? Is there a better opportunity? What should I do? I'm gonna break that down as well. It's gonna be a jam-packed video, so buckle up, sit back, and relax. Now, we're gonna get into a handful of different charts. We're gonna look at this some, from a, some different angles, and everything is gonna become crystal clear. It's going to be incredible, but it will be quite shocking. And I wanna start with something that is, is so important to your success. This is literally your last chance, literally your last chance as our seats are almost filled up. There's only a handful of seats left at that 70% of for the new redesigned courses, game-changing courses, elevate you to the next level, brand new indicator that has trade alerts tied to it, 70% off, once those seats are filled, will never happen again. You will never, ever have an opportunity again to get 70% off. Go pull the trigger. I'm talking to you. You've been wanting to sign up. You have been wanting to sign up and you haven't pulled the trigger yet. There's, this is literally your last chance. Literally your last chance. There will be no more videos about this. This is literally your last chance at 70% off. Go act now. The seats are gonna fill up. There's only a couple more seats, so they're gonna go fast. Fast. By the time you watch this, they might be gone already. So go get your seats. I'm talking to you. Don't be left out. Don't be left behind. I want to help you get on a fresh new path in 2021. Fresh new path. You deserve it. Your family deserves it. I'm talking about dominating your trades, recovering those losses, and feeling the joy of winning. Go pull the trigger. CryptoCrewUniversity.com last chance 70% off, only a couple more seats. Go scoop up the diamond combo or the gold combo here, gold. If you've been in crypto one to five years, gold, perfect for you, sign up right here. Diamond, if you're brand new to crypto, you wanna start right at step one, game-changing courses. Game-changing courses, brand new content, redesign. You sign up right here and then you're gonna be taken, right when you click this button, you're gonna be taken to this page with the indicator and you better hope keep your fingers crossed that you can still see this because if you can't seats are gone this is the indicator that has trade alerts tied to it click right 
here to add that to your cart. Go right now. Go pull the trigger before it's too late. Now, as we set the stage for this market, there's been just a lot of drama happening in the markets. And if you're really new to crypto, if you're, if you're just getting into crypto, welcome to the roller coaster. In this channel, we take a little bit of a bigger picture approach to keep you level-headed. We look for the next major moves. I'm not talking about five to six to seven percent. I'm talking about 25 to 50 percent so that you can maximize your money, minimize your losses, have more success. Okay. So plain and simple, we have a very major move coming. How do we know? If you look at the past three years and we're just going to look at the middle of our chart. I know there's a lot going on, but just relax for a second. We're just going to look here at these two lines. Okay. If you look at the past three years, three years in Bitcoin, there's been six, one, two, three, four, five, six signals that have happened that have guaranteed a 25 to 50% move. Six. It's only two a year. Two times a year, we get a major, major, major signal. And we're in it right now. We're in it right now. I know last week or the week before we had a 10% move. Everyone freaked out. Oh my God, 10%. Bitcoin is down a couple thousand dollars. What do we do? That's nothing. What is going to happen in Bitcoin in the very near future is a 25 to 50% move. How do we know? The facts are in the charts. This is the HV. We're below the 40 level in the HV. Our community will tell you we've been covering this for a very long time. And this is the MVT. It's still red. If this HV peeks his head through and we turn to white, we're going to see 25 to 50% decline very quickly, very sharp in Bitcoin. And if we peek our head through the HV and we're still in red, we're going to skyrocket. It's that simple. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we had this buy signal, which we're going to get into in a moment. At the same time that we have this major move coming and at the same time that the the RSI look at the RSI we're sitting at 83 84 okay we're sitting at 83 84 it, it's really overextended and if you go ahead and pop this on the monthly what you see here is is very interesting okay what you see here is very very interesting happening at this level so I'm going to show you here in a second but look at this Look at on the monthly. Look at this level. I always want you to look left, okay? And when you look left, you say, okay, we just had some resistance. And this is on the monthly RSI. Look at that rejection we've had from here. How did we have that rejection? Look left. Look at this level here. Resistance way back in January 2018. Way back in January 2018. And Incredible resistance. And then look at here. Incredible resistance way back in 2016, four years ago. It's the same level. It's the same exact level. We just got rejected from that level. Not a good sign. Okay? Look at resistance, resistance. Now you can see things a little bit cleaner, a little bit clearer. And you say, okay, now I get it. Now I see we're getting some resistance from these major levels. And that's what you see when you take a step back. Okay. So that's a, a clear warning sign. What I also don't like are these wicks. Again, this has two days and 10 hours to close, but you know, when you see those wicks at the top, we've got pressure pushing us down. It's like the reverse magnet when you push it together and they repel each other. That's what these are. If you've watched our other videos, you, you know a lot about what these wicks are telling us and we're seeing some resistance up here from that 20K level. So I would pay close attention to that. And as you're watching, pay close attention to this yellow line. That's the 21 EMA. And it's very likely over the next eight to 12 weeks, we're gonna come back down and play with this level. And we're gonna more than likely hold it as support. We're more than likely gonna have potentially a wick through. And we're more than likely gonna hang out here for just a moment. And then we're going to see a very powerful move uh, forward from that situation. So that's something to keep an eye on in the big picture. Make sure that's drawn on your charts. We also have the stochastic RSI that's a little bit overextended right? We're hanging up around these levels around 100. Okay. You can see that this is uh, 
this can and has the ability to hang out here for many months. As we look left, you can see that clearly from this time period here, um, from March all the way until July, it was incredibly bullish. So we can't be concerned with from uh, th basically through the month of November, but it is overextended. You wanna watch from across with the 80 level on the weekly, this 80 level. You wanna watch across down on the stochastic RSI with the 80 level. Now to summarize, we covered a lot in this chart, but let's keep it simple. I mean, you're watching the MVT and you're watching the HV. The rest of it is bonus, okay? You're watching this for that next major move, that one that packs a punch, not the move where, you know, the, the herd is gonna talk about, oh, five to 7%, oh my God, Bitcoin, uh, no. I'm talking about 25 to 50%, a move that will shock almost everybody. It's coming. It, it's only happened six times in the past three years, and we are in it right now. This is exciting. You better get ready because that move could either make you a ton of money or lose you a ton of money. And we're gonna uncover that here in a couple moments, okay? Now, we're gonna break down this chart in a very surprising way, and what I'm about to show you is gonna take you by surprise a little bit. We've got these buy signals, right? that I just told you about, okay? It's the one that we promised, hey, no matter when this comes, um, you know, it's not good for, for, my, for my wife or my son, but I promised a video, I'm here, I'm a man of my word. We said it will come near the tail end of November or at the first week of December. Here we are on the first week of December, we printed the blue. We've been waiting for the blue. We've got our blue. So what does this mean? Are we bullish? I mean. Look, in the big picture, am I bullish? Look at the profile, check out the hair. We're bullish, we're bullish, but we're also realistic. Let's take a step back, let's look at some facts, and what I'm about to share with you is pretty surprising. We're gonna take a look at this through a new lens, and we're gonna break it down in a way, right? We've gotten a handful of these in the past, but what was the fear and greed index during those times, all right? This is gonna be fascinating. So how about July, July 10th, 2020? You see the date at the bottom of your screen? That's when we got our last buy. What was the market doing at that time? Was it really, really bullish? Was it really overextended? What was happening? Let's take a look. July 11th, 2020. Well, we go back to July 11th, 2020. We were in fear. There was fear in the markets and we got a buy signal. Not only do we have fear, but if you follow our channel, which you do now that you're subscribed, we already said that we caught incredible market structure here. We we're a support and an incredible market structure. All signs pointed to we were gonna have a move to the upside. Okay, but how come this one that we just got, we're in extreme greed? The exact opposite that we just described, extreme greed, do you ever wanna be buying over here? Not really. This is where you wanna be a little bit fearful in the big picture, okay? So let's look at the past one. April 23rd of this year. What was the fear and greed index during that time? Okay, if you go to, if you go down here until April, what did we say, April 20th? I mean, no matter how you cut it, we were in fear. We were in fear. We had fear and we had a buy, and at the same time, we had beautiful market structure at this time because way back here in August 2019, we created our low, then we created our higher low, then we got our buy while everybody was fearful. Everybody thought the market was gonna go down and it went up. What does everybody think now? What do you think is going to happen? So that's the second one. How about the third one is December 2019. Back in December 2019, we got a buy. What was the market doing in December 2019? So we have to go back, back in time. December 2019, we're, we're over here. We're in fear again. So the past handful, we're in fear, right? And you can even go back another year till, till January 2019. What were we doing in January 2019? Let's go into the, the yearly chart. Uh, again, we're in fear. We're in fear. So 
one of the things that I want to look at here is going to really surprise you. We know that we don't have a lot of these buy signals coming. They don't come often, but when they come, we have to respect them. That's what we've said on this channel repeatedly. But what I'm about to share with you is through a different lens, and this is going to be really surprising. You notice that during this past run, we also had a cluster. And if you scroll back in history to the 2011 to 2013, we also have a cluster. Do you notice a pattern? Do you notice a pattern with these clusters? Because I sure do. Take a look. We've got a cluster here. We've got a cluster here. And we have a cluster present day. These are all similar. Wait till I show you this. These are all similar. When do they happen? They happen during the bear market and leading up to the all time high. And what I'm looking at is this one in particular. Wait till I show you this. But take a look here. This is another cluster. Again, during the bear market and as we approach all time high. It's very likely, given these clusters, that we have just seen the last, the last of the hash ribbon buy signals until the next bear market. It's very likely that we've seen our last one until the next bear market, which is, is quite a while away. Okay, now what I'm about to share with you with uh, this one that I believe we're really similar to, take a look. We had a buy signal, buy signal, buy signal. Unfortunately, we can't compare what the market was doing at, time, at that time with the fear and greed because we only go back to 2018. But we do have this, the RSI. And let me show with you. This, we got this buy signal when Bitcoin was up here at about $26, back in the glory days. But why is 26 important? Well, 26 was pretty much the exact all-time high. We got a buy signal with our cluster. Again, we had one, two, three, four buy signals. This is incredibly similar. Four buy signals. Our last one was right near or at the all-time high. Where were we at that time? We were overextended. Look at the RSI. Very overextended at the time that we got a buy. At the time, we were right near the all-time high. And this is seven years ago. I believe the way that this structure is set up, that is very eerily similar to that. But make no mistake, these buy signals only happen during these bear markets and leading up to an all-time high. Look at where we're at now. We got a buy signal. We're right near an all-time high. We're up here, you know, uh, 19,000 about as we speak, but we've reached up to just about 20K. We've got a buy signal. RSI is a little bit overextended. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Now, let's take it a, a, another step further because what I want to do is break it down to you in a simple way. If you want to make money in the short term, the next one to three weeks, what should you do? You probably want me just to tell you like it is, and I'm about to do that. Same with the next one to three months. Maybe you want a medium term trade. You want to make some good money. You want to be smart about it. What should you do? I'm going to break it down. And then in that long term, if you just want a long term buy and sell for the next one to three years, what should you do? I'm going to break it down what I would do in your shoes. Given the facts of what we know so far, we understand the, that these happen in clusters, that this happened right near an all time high, pretty similar to seven years ago. It's highly likely that this is the last one. The markets are a little bit overextended. We referenced earlier the, the fact that we've got this uh, divergence happening. We're about to break that down. We know that a move is coming. This 25 to 50 percent move is coming. There's only been six of them in the past three years. We're in it right now and our HV is pointing down at the moment, but we're hanging out at about 37. I mean, we need to see that head peek through. We need to see a continued red and then we will have a rocket ship. But if we peek our head through and we change to white, it's going to be a plummet. We'll keep you up to date, up to the moment, up to the second on that. But again, I want to get into what's going on with these alerts. And I, I, I just want to remind you, 
about how, how important this is given the fact that this is your last chance. This is your last chance. You, you've known about this sale that we've had. It's the most ridiculous sale we've ever had, 70% off. You've been interested. You've been thinking about it. You've been on the fence, and today is the day you pull the trigger. The seats are going to fill up like that. There's only a handful left, and this will literally, literally be your last chance. This is literally your last chance. Don't miss out. Don't be left behind. I want to help you make 2021 just incredible. You deserve it. Your family deserves it. I want to, I want to give you a couple tidbits from some students. This is Jerome. Jerome says he feels so much more confident after taking 40 to 50% profits with his trade. This is Sergio. Sergio was doubtful about the courses, was hesitant. And then he went from being hesitant and doubtful to making more than three times what the courses cost. This is Phil. Phil is like, look, all the second guessing and stress are gone. Do you want all the second guessing and stress are gone? Get the courses. This is Kevin. Kevin is saying after he was failing so many trades, which you may be doing, failing so many trades, he went to winning his trades. Imagine what that would feel like. What would that feel like to win your trades? What would that feel like to make three times the course's cost? What would that feel like to get rid of all the stress and guessing? Wouldn't that feel great? Wouldn't that feel great? You deserve that. And then we have Donovan. Donovan says, quote, stop wasting your time and money and invest in the courses. Go do that right now. Today is the day you pull that trigger. You take advantage and you better hope you get there fast because the seats are going to fill up. There's only a handful of them left. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Link is down below. I'll link it above. CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Go get the gold if you've been in crypto one to one to five years. And again, click on these little circles. It'll pop up all the information you need. Nice, clean, and elegant uh, style, we've got the gold or the diamond here. The diamond is perfect if you want to start right at step one. Right at step one, very new to crypto. This will hold your hand right from the beginning. And with both of these, you have full access to me. I'll be there every step of the way guiding and helping you through this journey. Again, once you click that sign up button, you're going to be brought here and you better hope you see this page. You click on here so fast, add this to your cart. That's the indicator that we've just custom designed with trade alerts attached to it. Get that. Get that right now. Today is your day, but you better act fast. This is literally your last chance. Now, let's go to some divergence here. Again, this is the daily chart. We normally look at the weekly chart, the monthly chart, but I do want to show you this because some people want to know what's going on in the short term. And let me break it down for you. In the short term, we've created our high, our higher high in the towards the end of November 21st. Then you fast forward to the 24th, another higher high. Then you fast forward to the 30th, another higher high. To make it simple, we'll say that we've continued to make higher highs, right? Forming a line as such, right? Are you with me so far? We are making higher highs, okay? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. That's an uptrend. Now, the problem that we have is that with the RSI, we continue to make our high, a lower high, a lower high, and a lower high. This is bearish divergence. Simply put, when price action is doing one thing, going up, in our indicators, RSI, MFI, stochastic RSI, a lot of I's. These are all going down. We have one price going up, indicators going down. This is a clash. This is called divergence. How do you know if it's bearish or bullish? Well, is it from the bottoms or tops? This is from the top. You see, how do we know if it's from the top? We drew this trend line on the top. We are making higher highs and at the same time, lower highs. This is bearish, okay? This is on the daily time frame. So in the short term, will price action actually catch up to this divergence? Sure it will, sure it will. So you've got to give it time to breathe, okay? But you can see it here on the MFI. Look, a high, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high. Meaning that whatever the highest price was, it was lower than the previous one. We don't like to see that while price is doing the exact opposite. Price 
is making its highs and higher high, higher high, higher high, right? So now let's break it down. Now let's break it down. We understand that, hey, in the short term, we could get a little bit of rocky shakeout. We could get a quick, uh, nice correction, nice healthy pullback. But in the big picture, we've got m much bigger things brewing with this HV and NVT. But the question remains, break it down, Steve, please, in the one to three week area. I want to break that down. I think this will help you put it into perspective. And you may not know what kind of trader you want to be. If you're relatively new to trading less than five years, you're probably still trying to find your footing. Unless you're my student, then you've got rear clarity. But you're probably trying to find your footing if you're not my student. You're like, well, I might want to trade a short term. I might want to be a day trader. I might want to be a swing trader. I think I want to be a swing trader, but I might want to take some long term positions. Let's break it down in a simple way. Let's say that you want to make money in crypto in the next one to three weeks. What should you do? Well, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm about to say what I would do in your shoes. What I would do if I want to make money in the next one to three weeks, okay, is look at the facts, right? We have a buy signal. These don't come very often. We have to respect it. However, given the state of the, the, the market with the overextended, with the incredible amounts of fear, with the short term um, divergence, I would look for confirmation. What does that mean? Well, I would look at 20K, knowing that 20K is that level that once we pass that, there's going to be a lot of greed in the market and there's going to be a lot of people buying, which will push it up in the short term. If I'm looking to make some short term money, that 20K will be that level where things kind of, uh, there's no more resistance, right? There will be a sudden quick burst above that level if we get above that level. That 20K, I would keep my eye on that. What else I would do is really pay attention to this divergence, okay? Again, you're looking for confirmation. Just because we flash one buy signal doesn't mean that this is a short-term signal. These usually happen once or twice a year. This is not how to make money in the next one to three weeks. You want to look for confirmation. So we understand 20K confirmation. We understand keep an eye on that divergence. Let it play out. Let the charts breathe a moment. Okay? What else I would watch is wait for this NBT HV because that's where the real money is going to be made or lost. If you get into a trade just based on one factor, this, and then suddenly... Uh, next week, the HV pops its head through, the, the MVT changes to white, you get destroyed in your trade. Look for confirmation, okay? Look for confirmation. Once you get that confirmation, let's say you respect this buy signal, that's confirmation number one. Confirmation number two, we are above 20K, and then confirmation number three, we're above 20K, and then the HV pops its head and we're still red, all systems go. Then you make that quick, solid, strong gains in that one to three week range. Now let's break it down medium term. How do your mindset changes medium term? Medium term, one to three months. One to three months, you have more time to make a better decision than that one to three weeks. You have more time to make a stronger move, a move that's a better bang for your buck, a better risk for reward, and a more strategic play than that quick cash, that one to three week quick cash, okay? So you are really waiting for this to play out. You're not doing anything until this plays out because you know very well, there's only been six of them in the past three years, and this is going to be big. You're not touching a trade until this happens. You don't care that we've, that we've flashed a buy signal. Yes, you're going to look at 20K. Yes, you're going to watch the divergence, but you're going to watch it because you love this industry. You're not watching it to lose your money. You've got one to three months. You have time on your hand. And with time, you can make a more strategic play. And you have to be patient. Patience will win this game. So that's how the mindset shifts from that one to three weeks to one to three months. All right? So you're looking for a strong confirmation, starting with this, to really see what's going on. All right? Now, 
I would add to that you're watching the candles close, right? You're watching this candle close in the next two days and 10 hours and you're watching the wicks. You're watching these little tidbits, but you're mainly watching for the big dogs. And that's this, the ones that say, hey, a 25 to 50% move is coming. I'm ready. Now, how about one to three years? One to three years, you got even more time, but it's almost counterintuitive. What I'm about to share with you it is going to be uh, a so simple yet so powerful and it really stick with you. If you've got one to three years and you want to make a trade, it's really irrelevant. You can close your eyes and whether you buy at 16K or 19K is completely irrelevant. It's completely irrelevant. And that one to three year time frame, one to three years from now, when you look back and you're like, wow, I was really stressing out about buying between 16 and 19. Oh my God, should I wait for 17? Should I get 18? Oh my God, should I buy, should I sell? It's so much stress for something so silly. If you're really big picture in Bitcoin and you want to trade and not get in and out of trades really quickly and you just wanna buy something and hold it, wake up you don't there's not really a difference between 16 and 19 there's really not even if we drop down to 14 or 13 5 it's really no difference if one to three years you have no stress you don't have that anxiety of, oh my god i need to wait for this confirmation and watch this and blah, blah, blah. you're basically closing your eyes and you're like yeah i'm buying you kick your feet back you got a drink in your hand you're good and that's how it should be no emotion because what happens is that emotion creeps in and it will destroy your trade. And you've probably had that before. So that's the mindset. There's a big mindset difference between those three people. You can't be all three. You can't even be two of them. You have to choose one and focus on that. If you try to be two, you'll be average or below average at both of them. Focus on one and you can start to be above average at that one. And then you can start to try to dominate and et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's that mindset that's going to be so critical going forward, especially if you're new, you know, less than five years to trading. Trading can chew you up and spit you out so fast if you don't know what you're doing. This is not an easy game. But if you have the right strategy, you have the right, right focus, you're focused on the right things, you could do damage, right? So... Now we're getting to get into Steve's secrets to success. I have another major help to you with, with trading. If you want to get better at trading, then you better wait for Steve's secrets to success. If you are not interested in more success, then you could probably end the video now. And uh, uh, you probably will regret not waiting for this tidbit that I'm going to share with you. So a, lot, a lot's going on in this video, right? We broke it down. We kept it simple. But I just want to say real quick again, almost sold out. And, and this is literally your last chance. You will never again have that 70% off. You will never again have that 70% off. Never again. But only a couple seats left. Just go to the website right now. You've been wanting to sign up. You connect with my teaching style. You know that there's a no BS approach. You know you understand everything I, I say. And you know that you've grown by watching my videos. You enjoy them. You look forward to them. My courses are on another level. They will completely change everything that you're doing. I want to help you get on this fresh new path in 2021. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. Redesign courses. Game-changing courses. Brand new indicator trade alerts with that indicator get yourself set up in 2021 you deserve it your family deserves it and you haven't pulled the trigger yet you i'm talking to you you haven't pulled the trigger yet go pull the trigger you've been wanting to cryptocrewuniversity.com cryptocrewuniversity.com you know the site it's linked down below i'll pop it up here it's written right here cryptocrewuniversity.com and more than likely you're going to go scoop up the the gold and if you're really new, you're going to scoop up the diamond. That'll start right at step one. Then you're going to go pop this in your car as fast as humanly possible and go check out before everything is full. Once these seats fill up, there's only a few left. The prices will increase substantially. So don't miss out. Now, Steve's secrets to success. This is a good one. This is a really good one. This is a really powerful one, but it's one that 
maybe it's going to catch you by surprise a little bit. You should never make a trade ever again. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm not your financial advisor, but I'm telling you from my experience, you should never again make a trade ever again ever again unless you know everything before you hit that buy button before you buy any bitcoin ethereum anything you need to know everything about that trade before this is what happened to me trading early on i would buy and i would say you know what i'm gonna see what the market does and then maybe i can add some more and maybe sell and and i'll decide when after I buy. That destroyed me. And I kept making that mistake because of my ego. My ego kept fueling me that I really felt like I knew what I was doing. I could read the charts. I knew what was going on. But I kept making these ridiculous mistakes, ridiculous mistakes. Let me break it down. Before you trade, you need to know everything. You need to know exactly when you're buying why you're buying, what structure you're buying on. You need to know what risk and reward you have. You need to know your position size, how much are you investing, and why. You need to know all your rules of when you can rebuy, when you can't rebuy, when you can add, when you can take your stop losses, when you're going to sell. All of that has to be, has to be, has to be decided before you buy. All of it. And you may be laughing to yourself right now like, wow, I've never done that. I just buy and then I I see what the market's going to do and then I decide. Maybe I sell, maybe I buy some more. And if you've been doing that, you're in my shoes a whole bunch of years ago. And you're in that vicious cycle of your ego telling you, you know what you're doing. Look at your results. Then you know if you know what you're doing. That was the big realization I had. I really had to wake up and smell the coffee and be like, look at, looking at my results like, I really don't know what I'm doing. My ego kept telling me I knew what I was doing. I really did. I really didn't. I really did. It was years. Don't make the same, same mistake that I did. Don't take years. Hopefully this wakes you up today. And if it does, write in the comments down below so you can help somebody else. But you have to know everything about the trade. You have to have a very clear, structured strategy based on math, not based on emotion. Because you know what happens when you click that buy button and you wait to see what the market does because you're really good at the charts, then emotion gets in you. You know, the, the fear gets into you. That's emotion, right? Markets start going up. You start getting excited. You buy more. Buy more because of emotion, right? Emotion is a money killer. You want to take your money, put it in your hand, and light it on fire? That's emotion. That's what emotion will do. It will kill your money. You don't want to kill your money. You want to grow your money. All right? So this was a a very powerful Steve's Secrets to Success. But I hope, I hope, if this connects with one person, then it it was meant to be. Okay? But I really hope it connected with you you because if you're not my student you you're probably in that vicious cycle of your ego driving it and the emotion driving it you never know what the hell you're doing you're like oh my god should 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 i sell now you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wait for it to drop then i'm gonna buy more and then then i'm gonna sell when it goes up here and then it just never does what you want it to do because all of those decisions are based on emotion my students have a list of simple rules and we have to follow them that's it that's it a simple system based on math a simple system that you follow no matter if it's raining out sunny out no matter what time of year what day of the week it's a system that's what you need that's what you need so hopefully this connects with you leave a comment down below if it did And if you're my student, leave a comment down below with how these systems and how controlling emotion has really changed the game for you. Because I guarantee that's one of the biggest takeaways was, hey, before my ego was telling me I know what I'm doing. And then afterwards, you have a system and you're you're stress free. You're stress free and making much better decisions, not driven by emotion and ego. So. 
that is Steve's secrets to success. I, I know I got a little bit deep into that one. You could feel I have a lot of passion for that, but I just really hope uh, you don't go down the same path I did because it's a, it's a vicious it's a vicious cycle. So, with that said, one last thing is I'm a man of my word. I did these bonus videos when the markets were going crazy. I did today's video because of that blue buy button just to keep everybody level-headed to provide my perspective, but it takes a, it takes a big toll on my family. Um, I didn't get to see my son today or when I made a video on Tuesday or when I made a video on Wednesday so uh, or my wife, and I need to take a little bit of time with them, so no video on Wednesday unless, unless something crazy happens where we have you know the HV and the MVT do their thing that it's only done in, in a couple times in six years then I'm gonna do everything in my power to make a video and um, hopefully my family understands but if that doesn't then there's no video on Wednesday I need to spend some time with my family and kind of make up over this past month um, we've done a lot of bonus videos because the market is going crazy so uh, I've been here every step of the way but I put my heart into these videos it takes me tons of hours in production just to make one and if I want to make our normal Wednesday videos it takes me multiple days but to do a video like this on the fly I'm in production all day and here it's it's nighttime already uh, all day I haven't seen my wife or son so I hope you understand I'm sure you do and Again, if the markets go crazy and something with the HVMVT, I'm going to do everything in my power. You better believe. Um, but if that doesn't happen, I will not see you on Wednesday. I'll see you the following Wednesday. So have a beautiful rest of your day, rest of your week. I'll see you when the markets go crazy or on the following Wednesday. Thank you for understanding and have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace and love to our fellow underdogs.